of Hollywood to the Empire State. News film from around the world on your neighborhood screen today. Delivered via high-speed airmail. This is Aerotone News. Ladies and gentlemen of the Empire State, and those tuning in across America, this is Aerotone News bringing you a breaking story from the skies above Manhattan. Last night, a fierce battle raged over the city as the infamous Jonathan Genghis Khan and his ruthless band of pirates, the Red Skull Legion, launched a treacherous attack. Reports from City Hall state that the Japanese embassy on Park Avenue was the target, and the venerable old building is now rubble. Dozens are feared dead, including innocent civilians caught in the crossfire. But the situation is even more dire. It has been revealed that the subject of this dastardly raid was none other than Miss Chen Liu Mei, daughter of President Chiang Kai-shek of the Republic of China, currently embattled in a war with the Japanese Empire. The motive for the kidnapping is unknown at this time, but it is a clear act of aggression against the Chinese government. President LaGuardia has put the Navy on full alert and has sent every available airship into the skies to track down and apprehend the pirates responsible for this heinous crime. A reward of no less than $10,000 has been offered for any information leading to the capture of Khan and his gang. We urge all citizens to be vigilant and report any suspicious activity to the authorities immediately. Our prayers go out to Channel Yu Mei and her family, and to the brave men and women determined to bring these villains to justice. The pirates were last reported heading west, and we will bring you more updates as they become available. This attack comes just two days since the last Red Skull sighting in the People's Collective, and the subsequent kidnapping of Comrade Captain Angela Dane of the Deadwood Air Militia. Khan was reportedly under the guise of one comrade Major Smith of the Collective Airship Eliza. No known ship exists in the Collective Air Force with that name. For the past four years, Deadwood has been the transfer point of the Lakota Grain Payment to the People's Collective. No pirate has ever before dared attempt a strike at such a well-armed facility especially with Comrade Dane as its protector. During the altercation, the payment was destroyed, and in the chaos, Comrade Dane was captured. Her bravery and dedication to her duty are an inspiration to us all. The danger posed by the Red Skull Legion cannot be underestimated. Their actions are a direct threat to the peace and stability of the region. President LaGuardia has called for increased security measures, controversially hiring the Black Swan as a privateer to defend the city as backup for the well-known Broadway bombers. As powerhouse private security companies, such as Blake Aviation Security and Sacred Trust, are both under scrutiny for letting Khan slip through their defenses. The people of the Empire State and all across the nations of America must remain vigilant and alert to the threat posed by Genghis Khan and the Red Skull Legion. We must all work together to bring these villains to justice and restore peace to our skies. Stay tuned to Aerotone News for the latest updates on this developing story and keep comrade Captain Angela Dane and her family in your thoughts and prayers. This is Robert Garrett reporting from the Empire State. Until next time, this is Aerotone News. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience. This is Graham McNamee speaking. We bring you a period of delightful entertainment sponsored by Coca-Cola, that pure drink of natural flavors served nine million times a day. A half hour devoted to popular music and unusual news of sports by Grant and Rice. We dedicate this program to the pause that refreshes. The pause that refreshes, as everybody knows, means to drop your cares for a minute, relax, and enjoy the life and sparkle you find in an ice-cold Coca-Cola. <laughs> 